In a nutshell, what are some basic storytelling principles for a screenplay? If you had to have a list of bullet points. I would say for me, it, it really is the understanding of the wound that drives and the negative narrative that gets in the way and how the pursuit is one step toward healing the wound. I would say that's definitely one. I would say another uh, story tool that I use is that also goes into the why is how does the personal di dilemma of the central character link to the professional pursuit? And really being clear on if there's a link and very often there isn't a link. You're setting up a weakness or a void that isn't connected to the pursuit and how the pursuit can be the answer to that void. And then I would say having an active hero who has a clear want is definitely a huge thing that I work with writers on because it's really thinking about, I mean, I think when I first started consulting, one of the biggest questions I asked was what does the central character want? If I don't know that, the story doesn't work. Like what I came to recognize when I wrote Storyline, I recognized there were a hundred screenwriting books out there. What's going to make my voice different? And at that point, I had been an analyst for 17 years. So I recognized that analyzing was what sets me apart because I know how to do that. That's what my brain has been trained for. And so I got a bunch of Oscar nominated, Emmy nominated, and Golden Globe nominated scripts, and I extracted a formula because I thought, I don't want to teach writers how to write a good script because that won't get them staffed and that won't lead them to sell a script. I want to teach them how to write a script that hits it out of the ballpark. And that formula that I came upon was that every strong story starts with a trigger incident or inciting incident, as many people term it, that pushes the central character into a powerful dilemma. Then the choice that is made in the dilemma is what defines the external goal for the A story. And every obstacle, escalating obstacle, and all is lost moment need to link back to that choice. And when the goal isn't clear, the story doesn't work. Because everything needs to link back to, like there are countless um, features as well as TV shows where in the middle of the story, you have no idea what the central character wants. Like you've lost it. Because the actions and obstacles aren't linked to the desire and we lose a sense of what the desire was. So when you do that, story doesn't work. And, and very often, our writers will write a passive hero that isn't taking action. Another mistake writers will make is they'll choose the wrong lead. They'll develop another character more with regards to backstory and empathy than they will their lead. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So they choose the wrong lead. So if someone's looking at their story, how can they tell they have a passive hero? Are they taking action toward the goal? It's very easy. Are they reacting to what happens to them? Like many, if you look at act breaks, at the act break, the central character should take an action toward the goal, hit an obstacle, and there should be a reminder of the stakes. That's if the stakes were set up well at the beginning. And, and the internal and the external stakes should be felt at that act break. But many times the act break is something that happens to the central character rather than it being a result of an action they took toward the goal that led to the obstacle. How soon should the key desire be revealed within the story? That's a good question. End of act one. 
we should have a clear sense of what the central character wants by the end of Act 1. Then, now, and I am always studying story and figuring out how to teach in a way that will connect with the writer. So I go off of the brilliant work being produced. And I would say that I've seen the end of Act 1 be on the clear setup of the goal, and that works well. Or I've seen Act 1 end on the first action taken toward the goal and the first obstacle hit. So either of those are fine. I would say in probably most stories, the first action toward the goal is often in Act 2.